we are here in Ubi, doing the last leg of our journey, which will be from Ubi to Goa. We came here around 9:30. Last night. Yeah, and we we're pretty much exhausted. So the initial plan was to do uh, from Ubi to Bangalore and then get back to Bangalore. But uh, we decided that Goa is part of the plan. Just you know, go and chill out. So here we go. Away from uh, Kalangut, Goa, we are uh, going right through the Ghat section. There are actually two routes. So one goes to the National Highway. The other one you have to go through the Western Ghats, which is a quicker route. Takes about uh, 12 hours without breaks. And uh, the roads are good in a few sections and uh, under construction in a few. Uh, the under construction ones are heavily under construction, so it's like complete off-roading. uh um, there was another detour but that was much longer i think that route would have been already constructed cuz most of the vehicles are taking that route but it adds on to about 11 kilometers more uh we decided to just go through and uh, yeah i mean we are all dusty like superbly dusty yeah. uh there's a lot of dust uh, it's only trucks who fly by that and a few cars uh who want to save up on time and kilometers i guess but yes uh, that's only a certain bit about 22 kilometers stretch uh where you need to go through that hassle for that the roads are pretty nice as, so, as of now yeah and the weather is actually pretty chilly it is sunny but it is pretty cold and we stop for breakfast at this place called hotel tarts that you can see right behind us uh the food is really good and uh, it's pretty cheap too so the hotel's name is called the uh, hotel taj village view and they accept google pay so yeah so from this this kind of the last part of our journey we are heading back home right now after three days of partying in goa so heavy party so yeah it's another 8 hours from here So we finally made it back uh, to Bangalore, right where we started, and uh, this has been a pretty crazy adventure. So overall, I would say it was a very unique experience. You know, starting from Bangalore, we went through the eastern coastline, which is pretty scenic. The roads are really good. Uh, it is a very relaxing uh, ride, provided you go during the day and not during the night. 
However, once you come into the western coast, it is pretty difficult. So try not to cover distance, but uh, try to explore the place because it is actually really beautiful. You'll be going up and down the western ghats with the Arabian Sea, that is the coastline flowing along. So you have a lot of. You will be taking the Route 66. Uh, that's the national highway, which is all across the which coast? Western coast. Western coast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the highway isn't great at all. Um, so our suggestion, honestly, after the entire experience would be you'd cover short distances because it will take you a lot of time. But in those short, short distances, you have a lot of places to visit yeah. and explore. And these places are really amazing. Just that time was against us. So we couldn't cover we couldn't a, lot, cover of a lot of places. Uh, the hospitality, the food, everything is pretty much great in Kerala. It's just that uh, when it comes to the road, the drivers, that is especially the bus, the vans and all, mm. they, they kind of crash drive, which puts you under a lot of risk. So try not to cover more than 100 kilometers per day and uh, try to cover it within the first, but try to cover the it early the afternoon. Yeah. So that you have a lot to explore. Kerala is really a beautiful place. And after that, once you come to Mangalore, um, the stretch to go is... It, again, it's really beautiful. Although most of the highway is under construction, the in ones Goa, like post Karwar, during Karwar, uh, is where you have good stretches and under construction stretches. So it's in intervals. You have a lot of uh, open roads, but again, you need to be careful on those roads too. You have unfriendly traffic of construction uh, vehicles and non-construction vehicles because most of the highway post from Karwar onwards is basically um, new. So it's a new highway which is being uh, made and there is no traffic sense as of now much. But yes, I mean, it's a beautiful highway and once it's constructed, definitely that would be a road to ride on. Mm. Or I would say if you're going to do this trip, uh, do not try to finish it within 10 days like we did because we had a deadline of 10 days. If you have time, you know, just go with the flow, take as many as days as possible because the southern coast is something truly that needs to be explored. It is extremely beautiful. And uh, once you go to Goa and after that, pretty much you can take the route which we took, which would be um, through um, Dharwad, Hubli, the Western Ghat, Ghat route through Ponda and... Uh, I don't know the other places' names, but it's the route through Ponda and Sakurem. After that, you come to Dharwad, Hubli, and then uh, Davangere, Chitradurga, Nelmangla. It gets you into Pinia side of Bangalore. Yeah. So the traffic over there is not much. Uh, it is mostly just trucks and uh, yeah, again, not much. And it is very scenic. It is again, really beautiful. It's something that people need to look at because the Air over there. there is very less pollution. Actually, there is no pollution at all. It is pretty much fresh. And uh, other than yeah, that, but, but do visit the Western Ghats from Goa to uh, Dharwad in the morning hours. If you do it in the morning hours, you get to experience the beautiful climate, the beautiful fog, and the beautiful scenery. Yeah, we do feel bad that uh, no Rutra had to back out. Um, but yeah, he did reach safely and. He is kind of recovering right now. He is better right now. So. Yeah. So other than that, thanks to Parota for saving our lives many days because, <laughs> oh my God, we had that almost yeah. literally every and single day. Trust me, I have experienced, so I am a Parota lover, but the types of Parotas that I've had in different regions, different cultures, different cuisines, different local cuisines, different um, aura and atmospheres, different weathers, is just an experience. And you guys should have it. So, if you're planning a trip, do plan for the southern coast. There's something where everyone is. Until next, next time, time, see you.